Chapter 18 Maps and Directions Time to think. Fill in the blanks. Dash sits to my left in the class while Dash is on my right. Dash sits in front of me and Dash sits behind me. Maps A map is a drawing of a large area with actual measurements on paper. A book of maps is called an atlas. The map may be of the world, a country, a city or a neighborhood. A map represents a simple repeat a map represents a simple visual information about a place. Different symbols are used to highlight different things on a map. We can show mountains, forests, rivers, airports, buildings, temples, etc. on a map by using symbols. The study and the process of making maps is called cartography. The person who makes maps is called a cartographer. Kinds of maps. There are two kinds of maps. One, physical map. A map which shows mountain ranges, hills, plains, deserts and water bodies is called a physical map. 2. Political map A map which shows the division of the world into countries or of countries into states and districts etc. is called a political map. Scale Like some places are symbolized by images, letters or colors, distances on a map are shown by a scale. A scale helps us to calculate the accurate distance between two places. Example, in a map, the scale is given as 1 cm equals to 100 km. Suppose the distance between two points on the map is 4 cm, then the real distance would be 400 km. Sketch A sketch is a rough drawing of a place. It usually has important landmarks. Landmark is something that we can see clearly and recognize easily, like a hospital, school, park, etc. It helps us to know where we are and where our destination is. Plan A plan is a drawing of a room or a house. It is similar to a map. It also uses symbols. The list of symbols used in the plan is known as a key. Directions There are four main directions. These are east, west, north and south. The directions are shown with the letters N, north, S, south, E, east, W, west. Stand facing the rising sun in the morning. It always comes up in the same direction. This direction is called east. Your back is towards the west. Your stretched right hand points to the south and your stretched left hand points to the north. A compass helps us to know these directions with the help of a needle. The needle always points to the north. Nitty gritty. The sun always rises in the east and sets in the west. Compass.